So now look at this. I can keep them all on at the same time. And the trick, the trick is another inductor. There are lots of inductor action here. It's another inductor in this in this area that keeps them all on at the same time. Now I will I will put this is the operating voltage. If I can get it to stay in. And there it is. You can see them all on. They're dimmer, of course. And so now I'll do what I did in the very first video. I'm going to turn it around so that you can watch it happen. Keep your orientation for the future because this is the best place for me. So here's the jewel thief and the transistor and the potentiometer over here. You can't see them anymore but you know where they are. This is the ten, the ten LEDs in series and they have this 1.35 millihenry inductor that keeps them on. Now this is the experimental part of my circuit. This at the moment has three LEDs and the three LEDs are being uh, powered by this uh, 21 turn secondary that is coming off of this toroid at the same time at the same time as this one is. Uh, but this will stay here and what I'll do is I'll I will compare the lights. I don't want these to go dim, I don't want these to go bright when I do something with this. That's how I want to control what I'm seeing here. And uh, so that's what we're doing. And uh, well, from this side, this is the 33 ohm resistor, this is the 10 ohm resistor, and right now it's in the 33 ohm resistor and that's pretty much where it's going to stay. Every once in a while I'll show you how bright the lights can be uh, with the full battery. Okay. So do you see this? Now that is the secondary that was there before only it's been this it's the split. This is the actual secondary and to follow the line it goes to there. Now I have another secondary that is pulsing at exactly the same pace as this one. If you put the scope, if I put the scope between these two, it shows zero voltage difference because they are the same wire. They're both coming from this secondary right there. Okay, now I'm going to put in two more lights and they probably won't work. I'll need another inductor. I'm going to put in a 220 micro Henry inductor in between this secondary and this jumper which takes me over to the other end, the other secondary. Well, this is pretty exciting. I wasn't able to do three lights until just now. How about that? So. I now have 10 lights as usual, 3 more lights, and now 3 more lights. So up until yesterday, this is the situation on the split secondary with 3 with three lights here and 3 lights here. These are on, but boy, they are so, so dim. But 2 lights is much, much brighter than any of the rest of them. Uh, so I've been just leaving it there for a while. Well, turns out that it's this initial. This is look at. This is how it was up until yesterday. This is this is what I was using. A 220 micro Henry um, inductor was for these lights. Now, when I take, now I'm going to take that out and exchange it back for the one that I had uh, that you've been looking at. So this is the circuit as it is now. This is a 1.39. Now it's just this first half. This is called a filter. And the 10 lights are no longer stealing 
power from this this uh, split secondary I am able to fire up six lights in two sections and um, and they're all about the same brightness and I can prove that with a capacitor better than with the battery I want to show you what I mean about the capacitor uh, see this capacitor this is one of those those memory uh, big memory capacitors in computers it's a one farad 5.5 volt capacitor super cap and uh, you know and it, this here's the circuit it's been charging a few moments now I'm gonna hold I'm gonna take it out leave the capacitor in and then I'm gonna hold this uh, hold the camera right over the lights where my eyes certainly don't want to be and you can see they go out first over here and then here and finally they're all about it, it's not the same but it's a lot closer than it used to be I'm done for now I'm going to get a meter this week and I'll be winding some more inductors and uh, I'm going to be putting in more lights and this whole thing is going to just keep growing a little bit more all the time. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Bye for now.